How's everyone doing? I have a quick question for you, uh, physical media collectors. Let me know your opinion and let me know how you organize your collection because I'm really debating about integrating my DVDs in with my Blu-rays. Uh, I've kept them separate for a long time. I have, there's, there's a method to the madness back here. I have certain things sectioned off here. So definitely give me that feedback. Comment down below, yes, for mixing the DVDs in with the Blu-rays or no to keep them separate. Uh, definitely leave me those comments so I can get a better idea of what you guys think and what I should do because I'm super indecisive on this topic. But now I'm gonna go ahead and show you my collection so you can get an idea of how I organize and separate uh, all the movies. So let's go ahead and check it out. So this is the new office area when you first come in, you're greeted by the Critters 2 standee and you have the DVDs. This is, just put this one in this bookcase. Uh, so this is all of the regular DVDs that aren't horror DVDs and aren't TV shows. But I also have probably like another, I don't know, 100 or so in the different stacks all over the place uh, and other smaller bookcases. So I probably have around uh, 550 DVDs and then, you know, I have the rest of uh, the Blu-rays right here, starting here. And then, again, I have stuff a little bit of everywhere, you know, some piles and more bookcases. And uh, then we've got the rest of the Blu-rays over here. And more Blu-rays and 4Ks are separated. And then Criterion Collection. Uh, then up the top are bus sets and stuff like that, special collector's editions. And I just got the Clear Clowns from Outer Space Cotton Candy Gun. Uh, but we've got some 10 editions and then we've got TV shows on Blu-ray and DVD. I might just, you know, put them all together too. And then I have Criterion DVD separated from the Criterion Blu-rays. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put them together too. And then Arrow Video is separate and I have more Arrow Video titles strewn about. And then Digibooks, which there aren't that many Digibooks. I wish they would continue making Digibooks. I love them. And then we've got Steelbooks on Blu-ray and then Steelbooks on DVD. I don't have that many on DVD, so I might integrate that as well. And then horror Blu-rays are separated because I have uh, the most of the horror Blu-rays. It's my favorite genre by far. Let me know what your favorite genre is. I have more over here. And then I probably have enough horror Blu-rays to go to like there. But I, I want to uh, downsize the collection. I'm always, you know, trying to get rid of movies in my collection that I can't see myself rewatching again. I don't want things, uh, you know, just to, to have them essentially. I can't see myself rewatching again. It's got to go. And realistically, how many movies can you rewatch in your lifetime? Um, I've got around 6,000 movies and I'm, you know, it's an ebb and flow, constant ebb and flow. Uh, I've sold, you know, I want to say something like 13,000 movies in the past, like seven years. And uh, for every movie that I buy, I try to get one out the door too. Uh, and then there's piles and piles over here. And then the rest of the collection, which the lights are off <laughs> over here. There's my dog chilling. Uh, we've got some 4Ks and awesome sets over here, some Blu-rays. And then... Uh, some more over here and here's a good boy you're such a good boy and then uh, we've got horror dvds over here and some more tv shows on dvd over there so the majority is in the office area and i'd like to get everything out of there uh and that means organizing and um I i'd like to i don't know i'm really debating what do you think i'm kind of going back and forth with it um, so I'm having a hard time making my mind up. So give me your input and your feedback on that. And I think part of uh, the reason of keeping the format separate is not to be uh, necessarily an elitist, but also because uh, I'm a little OCD and to see, you know, DVDs, which are taller and thicker cases, uh, right next to the Blu-rays, it's kind of weird to me. I've, this is the first time I've done it right here. I've, I put it on here to like test it out. I've got, uh, the DVD of Below and then the Blu-ray of Below. Um, I don't keep multiple editions unless it's like an all-time favorite and Below is one of my all-time favorites. And uh, I like the the white uh, case on the DVD too and the reflective cover on there. Um, I remember seeing that one in the theaters when it came out and I absolutely love the heck out of that one. Uh, but you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. It just, it looks weird to me. It's I've never had this where the DVD is right next to a Blu-ray, but uh, that will be the case where it's gonna be, you know, mostly Blu-rays and then one DVD, and then mostly Blu-rays and then one DVD. 
Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to take some, uh, getting used to an adjustment period. Uh, but I think it'll be, uh, you know, easier to find things. And I don't have to worry. Do I have this on that format and so on. And, uh, right now I think I'm just going to integrate the DVDs. Maybe in the future I will integrate the 4Ks, but right now dip my toe in the water, so to speak, uh, baby steps here. And then I can just mix everything together in the future. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of that. Is that, is that weird to you? Is that, uh, off-putting to see that like that? Does that mess with your OCD too? Um, let me know what you think. So I'm definitely indecisive about it, but I think it'll help the organization process and help me uh, easily find movies and, you know, not have to see, hey, is this on DVD or is it on Blu-ray? You know, where is it? And uh, I just think it can, you know, make it uh, a better process overall organization and just finding the movies when I need to. And when I want to, and then also maybe give me some extra space too. If I put all the DVDs over here on the rest of the shelves, because there's you know spaces, and uh, I want to get one more small bookcase for over there, and uh, maybe it can work out, and I can give my my girl over here uh, this bookcase. That's the goal. She's been complaining about wanting to have a bookcase, so that's also <laughs> in this realm right here of why I'm thinking about doing this. So let me know what you think. Um, She's got a bunch of Funko Pops and art supplies she wants to put on there. So, I mean, I do have the rest of all of this. So there's that. But uh, please give me some feedback uh, if you collect physical media. Let me know how you organize. Do you keep your Blu-rays, 4Ks, and DVDs separate? You know, you separate by format, separate by genre. What do you separate by? Do you not separate? Do you just throw everything in together? Uh, let me know what you think. Should I put my DVDs in with my Blu-rays? Please leave me some comments down below because I'm just kind of torn about it right now. Uh, and I appreciate the feedback and I hope everybody's doing well. Take care.